Welcome to Cakes with Lorelai. I'm making a lot of Christmas cakes this year and I'm going to make a Della Robia cake. Now I had never heard of a Della Robia cake before and there's really not a lot of examples of it online. But Della Robia, I think, is more like a style. It's wreaths, uh, wreath designs on plates, wreath designs on cakes. So I decided to make a cake with a hole in the middle so I did the, the funnel cake. So I'm gonna do sugared fruits. And what I did was I went and I got as many small fruits as I could find. Grapes are perfect. Cranberries would be very nice. Now these are a bit on the large side, so I'm probably gonna cut these in half and just kind of make it look like they're coming out of the cake. I got some little pears, they're really cute. Some blackberries and some raspberries. And I'm also going to maybe put some dates. I'm gonna chop up maybe some little pieces of the dates some herbs for greenery, and you're gonna need an egg, an egg white. You might need more than one egg white, but I'm gonna start with one. And you're gonna need sugar, so I've got sugar here. Now, you wanna ideally use fine sugar, which I don't have, and you can put this right into the food processor if you want and make it more fine, but I'm gonna leave it as is. I think some gold would be really nice on this cake, too, so I'm gonna use that probably on the blackberries, because I know it looks really pretty on blackberries. So you'll need, if you're gonna use the gold, I have this brand here, it's called I Ideal, and I got it on my, in my Amazon shop. You can get it in my Amazon shop. I've got some gold and some white sprinkles I might actually add to my sugar mixture. And then you're gonna need a little bit of either vodka or clear extract for your gold. So you wanna have little groups of the grapes. and then just dip it right in the sugar. Just experimenting here. Try to put the best side forward and get any kind of clumps off of there. So I have a couple of clumps Grapes are looking pretty good. I'm gonna do limes, and I'm just going to cut that in half. You do have to be careful, you don't wanna mess them up, so I'm gonna use a fork. This one I did a little differently. I used the sugar crystals from Wilton. Now you might have to do it a couple times I really like that sparkle. I'm gonna use more of that. So once we get these onto the cake, I will probably add more of that glitter. That's very pretty. Now I know that some of you are wondering what about the egg white? And I have been doing this for a long time and I've never had trouble with egg whites. Just use the freshest eggs possible and the sugar also acts as a preservative, so I wouldn't worry about using raw egg whites. Now for the pear, same thing. I'm gonna put this aside and let them dry. If you have a really pretty, crystal clear, beautiful plate with gold edging or something, like I found this plate I absolutely love for Christmas time, it's beautiful. And that cake's gonna fit right in the middle. This is actually just a chocolate cake from, dare I say it, a box cake mix. <laughs> I basically just wanted to share with you how you can decorate a cake like this. Now you could do this as the top, or this. I kind of like the idea of a more rounded top, so I'm going to use this side, and I'm going to leave it as is. I've got buttercream here, it's Italian meringue, the real deal. And I am going to put a dab of buttercream, a doily, because I think doilies are really pretty, especially at Christmas time.
One thing, you have to be very patient when you frost a cake. You gotta get it all on there first, and then you can go back in and smooth it out. You can get these combs at my Amazon shop. They're from Wilton. You can also get them at the craft store. I wanna keep this easy for you guys. But at the same time, make it really pretty and elegant so you can impress your friends. And the combing is such a beautiful and easy thing to do. And then I'm just gonna come in. We're gonna put the fruit on here. We're going to cover this entire top with fruit. I'm doing a very simple border. Literally just place your fruit on there. And it's not completely dry yet. Ideally you want to dry them. But you can also go back in and you can sprinkle some glitter on there. And I'm also going to use some cranberries for a little color. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna start with the basic, the big pieces. I'm gonna come back in later with some smaller pieces. I think the pears are so gorgeous. Now I'm gonna fill in with some of my blackberries. And we've got some blackberries that I just painted with some gold. And you can start to place those. Mm. Now it's starting to look like something. So a little bit of gold and then some extract. Stir that around. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And blackberries are perfect for this. And you only need to do one side. And just place it. Beautiful. You can even paint it after you put it on here. And then we have the raspberries. So just have fun with this. And you can use whatever fruits that you have available to you. But basically you wanna make it look very, very full. And some greenery. So this is from my garden. So I've got a little bit of sage here. Now, your friends will be very impressed with that. Now that's gonna go onto that beautiful plate. And there it is. It's a beautiful Christmas cake. Wow. Just wanted to show you that you can just slice it and put some fruit around it. <laughs> that is darn good. I think it's Duncan Hines, I'm not sure. But it's very good. It's delicious.